Yeah, yeah, you know what time it is. It's time for the Geek Enders Podcast. Mega Rand, Jesse and Dodger, what up? Let's go. Yo, it's the weekend. Yeah, it's time to geek out. Let it begin. Go on, stream and shout. It's Jesse and Dodger, so give them a follow and see what the Geek Enders are all about. Yo, it's the weekend. Yeah, it's time to geek out. Let it begin. Go on, stream and shout. It's Jesse and Dodger, so give them a follow. Number one geek podcast without a doubt. Yo, another end of another long week. Got a job and a kid, I know that you're all beat. So, take a second, grab a drink and vibe while we catch you up in just a matter of time. On gaming, comics, whatever you're doing. If you're nerdy like us, then you know you should tune in. Thank you for sharing our world with us. Now follow, subscribe, and turn this up. Yo, it's Come the on. weekend. Yeah, it's time to geek out. Let it begin. Go on, stream and shout. It's Jesse and Dodger, so give them a follow. Number one geek podcast, without a doubt. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the post-Christmas episode of Geek Enders, where <laughs> our starting topic is, is Kim Possible's mom hot? Yes. This, Undeniably, uh, yes. Here, okay, we've already spent like five minutes on I this. I know, but I really feel like chat deserves... A second to be to, in on our conversation. To be involved, yeah, yeah. If anyone's right, wondering, right, right, right. if anybody's right. wondering, we spent the entire soundtrack talking about either Nicki Minaj, Missy Elliott, morphed into one, and then right. Kim Possible's mom. Because then Jesse was like, "I don't want to talk about Kim Possible. No, they were I want to talk about, about her mom." Hold it's up, because I sang the up. Kim Possible theme. Yes, and then Jesse Dodger was like, "Oh, that's what Kim it was. Possible." Actually, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Kim Possible mm -hmm. trash, but Kim her Possible's mom can mom? get it. <laughs> Mom possible can get it. I stand by that, and I will always stand by that. There's no discussion here. And if you're like, what kid possible? No, no, no. You thought that when you were like 13. It's time to grow up. It's time to grow up and admit mom possible killing it. That's it. That's all there is to it. You just got to understand. Naked, uh, a naked mole rat in that show. There is a when naked you were mole a child. Rat show. I thought you were going to compare her thing. to a naked mole rat, and then I, and then I remembered. Yeah. I yes. thought Jesse was going to be like, I love her naked mole, right? Because that's a Jesse no. Cox. No. Uh, I've turned over a new leaf. I don't make <laughs> crass <laughs> statements like that anymore. Wow. That Christmas sounds... changed you. <laughs> you really did. That's not the Jesse <laughs> the Cox. The spirit of I Christmas know. really got to Jesse this year. <laughs> yeah, I went and spent time with the animals yesterday, and I like got back to my roots, mm -hmm. to nature. I went to the zoo. Okay. Uh, my parents, for some reason, just really wanted to go to the San Diego Zoo. So okay. I was like, all right. I woke up. Were the up. lights still up? I hear it's beautiful around this um, time was, of year. It was 10 a.m. So, okay. I mean, they were technically, they but were there was no light. At one point. Yeah. 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 And so uh, I went to the zoo. And for some reason, no matter where we walked, it always funneled us back to the monkeys. I can't. I get, my mom was like, let's go find giraffes. So let's go find this. No matter what we did, we ended up back at monkeys. <laughs> like we were so lost the entire time. We just ended up going back to monkeys. And so I spent most of the day looking at monkeys. And I don't know. I kind of love monkeys. Monkeys are great. I was um, <laughs> I was at the baboon exhibit. You know how there's every once in a while, like a usually a little old lady will come walking up. And she clearly works for the zoo. And she just wants to tell you some information about the animals. Mm. She walks up. My mom and I were laughing about how there were all of these um, baboon groups, right? And they're just like walking and looking and just being like, right? So <laughs> there's one down in the front. Yep. There's one in the front. He was just like sitting there <laughs> playing with the dirt. <laughs> and I was like, that guy looks so lonely. And this old woman walks up and she's like, well, you see, all those groups, all those groups are uh, like, harems basically like it's one man and then a bunch of women and okay. she's like the hairier they are the less they're cared for uh the women will come up and pull the man's hair out to get his attention and <laughs> then you know and the, the, the male has all of these different women and i was like what about this dude <laughs> the guy in front who's playing with the dirt he's the hairiest one of them all and she's like he doesn't have a single mate and i was like it looks it it looks at this dude's like, so they're like, 
playing with dirt. I was Aww, like, yo. Buddy. <laughs> Damn, that guy dude. about to start a podcast. He's like, let me tell you about women. This is some bullshit. Like, I was laughing so hard. Meanwhile, only after the old lady pointed it out, which I don't understand why, she was like, yeah, it can be really hard for them. That that dude sitting there playing with dirt, raging boner. I was like, well, cool. That sounds, she kept uh, that making sounds it, about right. The grandma kept making it more awkward. She right. kept making it. They, she'd be like, yeah, but she just like keep telling her, like <laughs> he's got a raging boner. As you can see. A, there is a style of of older person <laughs> that that just loves to do that. Yeah, she just kept. The more she would talk about it, my mom sitting there, just being very cordial and nice, and she's like, <laughs> yes, yes, oh yes, I could tell she wanted out of the situation. But I was so obsessed with this old I woman. Just very like, much see that he's excited. <laughs> yeah. She was like, if you notice his throbbing red meat, and we're like, no, what the hell? Yeah, it's great. Um, I it's great. once, I once went to uh, Walgreens, and I was getting. Uh -oh. I know. <laughs> Where's this going? Um, it's on the topic of old people just full volume talking uh, about okay. shit. Um, I went to a Walgreens once, and I was getting uh like like UTI medication. And I went and I got in line and this old lady was like, you know, I told my daughter this and I'm going to tell you this right now. And I was like, I'm not your daughter. Please don't. And she was like, if only you girls would pee after sex, you wouldn't have this problem. And I was like, thank you very much. I hope you have a great day, ma'am. It was the most, it just... was... It was so awkward. <laughs> it's like, we know each help other. You. She's trying to help. She's trying to help. We don't know each Friendly. other. She, she's I like think Google. She, knows, she knows you a little bit more, though. She, she, <laughs> she saw my soul, I guess. <laughs> yeah, she made some snap judgments real quick. Real like, quick honey. about me, yeah. Dude, I brought this one up on Cox and Crendor. I remember we were at Walgreens. It was like 2 a.m. We just Walgreens wanted ice the cream. Place. Everybody think it's Walmart. Yeah. It ain't. It's literally, Walgreens, dude. It, dude, Walgreens. There's literally me another guy and that's it in line and the guy was like about to get checked out so he's like all right and then some lady comes up behind me all right 2 a.m by the way and then this lady is like <sighs> and then i just look back and then she was uh, she's like you know late 50s and she goes is this the only cash <laughs> register open and then i looked and i was like i think so <laughs> And she's like, ma'am, ma'am. And then the cash out little, this like old lady's like, she's like 70. Looks like she's been through it. Like, uh, and she's like, uh, yeah. And then she's like, is this the only register open? And she goes, uh, yeah. And then the lady goes, well, I'm not a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> like, you don't have to be a psychic put together. It's 2 a.m. You're not going to have like two cash registers open for like three she people. You could visually see what was happening. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> it, it blew my mind. <laughs> I was like, is, is she being serious? And I was like, yeah, she is. So I was like, just I'm don't. Not a psychic. Don't make eye contact. Don't talk to her. She's insane. And you just keep rolling, you know? Yeah. Yep. Sometimes you gotta. Can we? Hey, hey everyone. <laughs> hey. I guess we should. Should we do an intro to this show? We get show? back on topic. I feel so like Kim we Possible's did. mom. Anyway, so Kim Possible's mom can get it. Yeah. And is here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and is here. And here. Someone in, in chat before we started saw Crendor was our guest again. And they made the joke that Crendor never really left the call. He's always just sort of been on. And I need you to know, that is one of the funniest bits from Alan Wake 2. If you haven't played Alan Wake 2 yet, there is an ongoing joke in that game about an old man who can't figure out how to hang up the phone. And it is hilarious, and it lands every single time, and that is what I imagine Crendor is for this show. He's here. <laughs> he's always here. And Crendor like, is Crendor? Crendor's our yeah. old man. Yeah. The yeah, conversation's gone full circle. <laughs> yeah, really? somebody was like, I was like, I got to wake up early tomorrow. And then someone was like, oh, yeah, Jesse said Santa's going to be on next week. And I knew it was you. And I was like, what? <laughs> Did you say Santa was going to be on next week? I'm, you know what? I'm not going to say I didn't say that. I might have. Okay. I say a lot of things. You do. He I does say a lot, lot of things. stuff comes out of my and mouth. And he forgets and I just forget, all of it. So. 
you know, yeah. the second yeah. it's out. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Like, you know, don't ask me what we talked about 10 minutes ago. I have no answers for you. Yeah. But I am kind of like Santa. Monkey wieners? I don't know, y'all. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of um, remembering. How, how they do, did, uh... do you guys did you guys do Christmas stuff? Did you guys do a, a, a thing? Do you celebrate a thing this time of year? The both of you? I mean, yeah. like, celebration is a relative term. <laughs> that's yeah, that's kind of what I mean, yeah. You go to your families, you're like, hey, and then they're all like, here's how I'm doing. And then some people yell, some people say some stuff that you're like, oh, boy. And then, you know, you go home and you go, all right, thank God it's, it's over now. We can move on to the new year. Is that like a diff is that different for you with a kid? Do you have to do the whole pomp and circumstance? Because I'm with Crendor. I show up mm -hmm. at my parents' house. We uh, decorated cookies because it's something to do and listen to music. Nice. And then after we decorated cookies, my parents were like, let's open one present, which we did. And <laughs> yeah. then we ate dinner. I went home, came <laughs> back the next day for like two hours. We ate pancakes, opened presents. And I was like, all right, love you guys. See you later. Like That was pretty much it. <laughs> Dude, went which home. <laughs> yeah, it was a great holiday. I was like, mine, all right, that was great. All my cousins have kids now. So, like, we go there, and then, like, one cousin's kid's only, like, one. So they're just, like, like rolling around. And she's just, like, calm that down. That's, that one, is, one, that's exactly what one year old's are like. Yeah. Yeah. But then my other cousin, uh, he's married, and they have two kids, and they've been, they're, like, five or six now. And they are insane. And they were like going crazy. They were like flipping over shit. Like, Bleh. and then literally <laughs> one kid took an elf on the shelf. All right. You know, the little elves, elves on the oh, shelf. Aware. And he's oh, yeah. throwing it around. And then he looked at us and he threw one at Toaster Woman. <laughs> and she's like, all right, we're not playing with the elf on the shelf. And she just like put it to the side and he goes, you suck. And then he <laughs> ran away. Don't they know that if you touch elf on the shelf, he loses his magic? I like that kid just goes, you suck. <laughs> you yeah, suck. So uh, ever since then, Damn. we've just been, anytime something happens, we'll just be like, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> the best yeah, part so, about having little kids around is is mocking them later. Just, oh, just yeah. regurgitating the weird shit that they said. Uh, it's great. Um, yeah, I, I didn't celebrate Christmas growing up. My entire Christmas experience has been with Sam's family. Uh, mm. so I guess I'm coming, I'm coming at Christmas from a different perspective of like this holiday l literally didn't exist for me, uh, until about eight years ago. Oh my God. Until about Wait, eight what years did you ago. Do? Nothing. I mean, like you just wake up and your family's like, oh, it's Christmas anyway, not, off to school with you kids. Not, and then you get there and then you got to come we back still home. Didn't, we still didn't have a uh, school because it was still a Christmas break, but we didn't celebrate anything. I would forget that it was even happening until I went you didn't do presents? out of the house. Crandor, we didn't celebrate it. <laughs> you, didn't, they, you didn't watch the Muppets Christmas? We didn't celebrate it, dude. <laughs> you didn't embrace the sweet love of Jesus? <laughs> You didn't watch Kermit sing uh, for one more sleep till Christmas. No, you didn't watch that? I, uh, no. You didn't we, sit we down sat... around a fire and sing carols? <laughs> we sat you didn't make Christmas in our little... cookies? Uh, here's, here's, here's something to give you an idea of how you didn't watch Medea's not Christmas? involved <laughs> Christmas was in my life. After all of us had moved out, my mom on a lark uh, bought a tiny little tree and put it in her house. And every single one of us that came in the house and saw that tree were like, what the fuck is this? Since when do you bitches do Christmas trees? What is this shit in the house? What is going on here? Um, no, we literally, it didn't exist in our house at all. Um, but. Oh, why? We just didn't celebrate it. Um, yeah, but there has to be a reason. Uh, sure. My parents you, are like... What answer are you looking for? <laughs> I just want to know why. It's, it's, <laughs> listen, I don't care. It doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't you? It's right there. Why, I understand why, that some why people don't celebrate. It's right there. I understand some people don't celebrate it. She may mm. seem like they hate it. Like they despise it. Like we do not talk about Christmas. Yeah, and like their, Christmas, her parents actually. are just like, hey, I saw Christmas at school. They're like, you do not talk about Christmas. <laughs> like it scarred them at some point. Um, I guess the easiest way to put it is that my dad specifically was like a super hippie. 
Um, and he felt that Christmas was too all about greed. And so he took like a hard uh, stance okay. of like, we're not doing yeah, Christmas. Man. See there, that's it's what a, I was looking for. Because it's a greedy fucking holiday and everybody pretends it's it's a religious thing. But for most people it's not. It's just about getting presents. Ooh. So fuck that shit. Ooh. So that was, that's, Ooh. that was the take. That was the hot spicy take that I grew Dude. up with in my house. Which actually I, reminds I me. I texted one of my Warhammer friends <laughs> who is constantly high as shit. He's very much a like <laughs> okay. super stone. He's one of the funniest people I know. I was like, dude, you're funnier than some like YouTubers and streamers that I know 100%. And I literally texted him and he said, Merry Christmas. Santa still exists. We just became him instead of getting the presents. And that's what he said. And I was like, holy shit. He's right. <laughs> we are Santa. We just became yeah. him, man. <laughs> yeah, he's just a phenomenal person. He literally. I'd be like, worried. <laughs> I'd be worried. He's outside. Like, no, help me strap these reindeer to my Ford because I got gifts to give, man. Dude, he literally one time we were playing a game of Warhammer, and he was like, "Yo, like, I got a date with the Smoothie Queen later." <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, I don't know "Why what? I wasn't and expecting he, that?" He was like, "Yeah, she, you know, she's my Smoothie Queen," and we were like, "What does that mean?" Right. I I don't know. I guess she worked at a smoothie place, so he called her the Smoothie, smoothie Queen. queen. All right, I, I like thought that. I thought yeah. this was like that time you and I were at the mall, and we heard those dudes go oh, like, yeah. "Damn, she a goober!" Right? I thought it was <laughs> slang. I thought, it, I thought Smoothie Queen was slang God. for something. I wish someone would say that about me. That's so good. <laughs> I, I the worst like the worst part is is there's no mistranslation. Brendan and I yeah. were at the mall, and there were these dudes, and a girl yeah. was walking in front of us, and they loudly, <laughs> as she walked by, went, damn, she a goober. Yeah. There's no there's no mistranslation. They meant that positively <laughs> about yeah, this very attractive woman. Yeah. And yeah. then I was just like, what? And you were like, did you hear what I heard? And I was like, yeah, the goober. And she's like, yeah, yep. Damn, she a goober. <laughs> I mean, I had to double check, and I yeah. always think about that. So I'm just saying... <laughs> If there's any goobas out there, smooth. If there's any smoothie queen goobas, call me. <laughs> <laughs> smoothie queen sounds like slang. It does it not does. sound like that is a nice young woman who worked at a smoothie chain. No, no, no. That's that is a smoothie queen. That's a smoothie yeah. queen. He's he's got a long list of things that mm -hmm. are funny, but you know I can't I can't get at all of them. Just, just a funny goofy guy. We don't have all day. Yeah, yeah we don't guy. have all day, guys. It's right. just. By the way, uh, me and Jesse, we watched Medea's Christmas for Christmas the day uh -oh. before Christmas. We did. We did. Yeah. Nice. It was. It was a movie. So people were like, "You need to watch Violent Night. It's an amazing movie. It's got like all this action and stuff." And, oh, it's good. and then Violent we were like, Night. "Yeah, yeah." Right. We were like, "We could watch Medea's Christmas though," and yeah. then we did. And that idea took us over like a virus. At first, we were joking. <laughs> and by the end, we were just like, should we really watch Medea's Christmas? <laughs> and we did. And we watched it. And I'm going to let you know, uh, it's bad. Like, mm -hmm. bad. Okay. Yeah. But, but Medea crucifies a little girl in it. And so that was hilarious. She does. Like, not even joking. She, ties she steals Medea's purse. Medea then strings her up on a cross. <laughs> it, it happens. <laughs> It what? <laughs> yeah. It was. It, 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 it really does happen. It's un. That was maybe one of the top three moments of the film because you don't see it coming. Damn. Yeah. It is also a movie that cost twenty five million dollars to make, but I'm pretty sure every set is the exact same set. Yeah. The home that the movie takes place in is also the school. Okay. They just redid the wallpaper to make you think, but the door is the same. All, all the wide shots look the exact same. It's crazy. Also, the plot of the of the movie is a woman moves to like small town Georgia where she falls in love with this dude, but she can't tell her mom the dude is her husband because they already got married before the show even started because okay. the mom uh, would not approve of the man that she's married. I see. And so she... Won't say anything the entire time, but spoiler, his family and her family are going to meet for for Christmas, and it's going to be awkward and weird. Yeah. And A classic setup. Yeah. Sure. 
But the vast majority of the plot deals with the fact that there's a Christmas Jubilee and they don't have the money for the Jubilee because a evil corporation built a dam up river that stopped mm -hmm. water from flowing and they can't make their crops. Except the husband has a new formula for corn. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Doesn't need as much water. Okay. Yeah, right. doesn't need as much water. Yep. Right. Okay. And so, but, 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 spoilers. The husband's bully from school. Yes. Yep. The husband's bully from school, racist, but his son likes the teacher and his wife likes the teacher, but he hates the teacher because she's black. And so there's a whole thing. And the only one who can solve, the only one who can solve it. Medea. Medea. Yeah. <laughs> Medea. I know it. the town. Mm -hmm. Slaps him up. Yep. Slaps him up. Yep. Medea comes to town, sets Makes everyone sense. right. Yeah. Yep. By the end you of the can, movie. The, the, the crazy part is Jesse called the entire movie. He is just like, oh, this mom's bad news. This guy's bad news. And he's like, I bet the mom's going to bring the ex-boyfriend who wants to sponsor the school. And then she does. It was like, he was like, he made Half his little was bit like, What if the sponsor, what if the sponsor for the Jubilee is the company <laughs> that destroyed the town? And we were like, no. And then it happened. And I was like, this movie is, what I realized halfway through is that it's a movie, that's a Christmas movie, but in reverse. Like in the beginning, she already okay. married the country dude, right? Yeah. And yeah. her ex is the big city guy. And I was like, oh, he's the bad guy. Because everyone from the big city is always the bad guy. Yeah. Also, Larry the Cable Guy is in this movie, and so is the yep. one woman who's one of the witches of Eastwick. I think that's what the... She's uh, Peggy from, Hill. From, okay. She's Peggy Hill. Yeah, Peggy Hill is literally in yeah. this. Okay. And it's it and it's uh, Larry the Cable Guy. And I'm going to let you know, the level of acting in this movie is so jarring that when Larry the Cable Guy and Kathy Najima, I think that's her name, when they show up on screen, they're so much better actors than everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like jarring. The rest like, of the movie whoa. feels like Hallmark movie actors, right. and they just feel like the most real actors. <laughs> yeah, you're like, whoa, okay. It's Which, crazy. it's literally Larry the Cable Guy being like, my belly's sticking out so far, you won't see my dingle dangles. And you're like, all right. Did he At get one to point, say one of his famous catchphrases? He did. He also did a Prolisec OTC ad in the, video, in the movie. He did. I'm not there even joking. Point. There hit a point where... Tyler Perry as Medea <laughs> and Larry the Cable Guy improved off each other for I want to say five minutes. Okay, and it wasn't funny. They just kept like trying to out improv. Most of the movie wasn't actually scripted. It is clearly people just being like, like Larry the Cable Guy has a line where he goes, "That bigger than my foreskin." Like what? <laughs> <laughs> they kept that one in. That was a keeper. <laughs> I don't like that. I but, don't like that. <laughs> and then not. at the end of the movie, the the, the mom uh, that's like, I don't want you marrying this guy. Uh, she's like, well, your your dad was killed by a white. No, woman no, no, or no, 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 no. It's even crazier than that. So the entire movie, the mom <laughs> is against the the daughter being married to this guy. Okay. And mm -hmm. there's no explanation. Nothing has been said. Nothing has been discussed. Okay. It takes it. It's until the last ten minutes of this movie. <laughs> ten <laughs> yeah. minutes are remaining, and it hasn't even wrapped up. <laughs> okay. In the last ten minutes, they finally have that big fight in the kitchen where everyone's finally coming at each other, and the daughter's like, "Mom, I'm married to him, and I love him." And and everyone else in the room, like Medea's, like, "You need to grow up, lady." And the daughter comes over to the mom and like gives her a hug, and she's like, "Mom, I know." That you can't be accepting of my relationship because dad was murdered by a white man. Pause. Hold yeah. on. Pause. Crendor and I were like, whoa, what a revelation. <laughs> Here's the thing. Medea then goes, that's not true. <laughs> he left and ran off with a white woman. And we were like, <laughs> roller coaster. They literally the double time. twisted it. And then the mom who's been threatening to have heart attacks the entire time. She's like, I have heart attacks all the time. Medea's like, those aren't heart attacks. You just have gas. Yep. It was the craziest <laughs> roller coaster. We were just like, what? and then the mom ends up finding Dude. the racist dude in a truck on the side of the road, and he's like in a car. Oh, yeah. He's like, I crashed, I crashed, I can't get out. But then she helps the him out. Mom saves the racist dude, and they solve racism in that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Because yeah. his because the, the, the racist guy's a drunk, by the way, and so he yeah. his car flips, and the mom 
she even though they have that blowout she's like i'm done i'm going home and so she leaves and starts walking home to i assume atlanta i don't know where she's going she's walking yeah. home and she sees the car and she saves him the best part is while she saves him like some christmas song is in the background so it's like even more emotional yeah yeah it was and then, <laughs> and then christmas is saved the, oh yeah. oh and the main character the main lady uh -huh. she gives a speech at the jubilee where she's like i also want to thank the evil construction company because they decided to give money to the school and to the town and the evil construction company's like we didn't say oh i guess we'll do it like <laughs> this is all in the span of 10 minutes and this they're just like why didn't the evil con the, they're like how'd you not figure out the evil construction company sponsoring it and they're just like i didn't have my glasses on <laughs> it's just like what it yeah, was oh oh the uh <laughs> small town like the the fat small town lawyer who was like mr mayor this is an incredible deal You're like we need a hundred thousand dollars for the christmas jubilee uh -huh. and then in it the small print says they can't say christmas or talk about jesus and mm -hmm. and everyone sounds like what okay on our yeah. like just call it a holiday jubilee and they're like no we'll never do that and he's like, well, how could we, how could they get away with this? Didn't we? And the guy was like, oh, Mr. Meyer, it was in the small print. I'm convinced $22 million of the 25 went to Tyler Oh Perry. my God. I forgot how much money they spent to make this movie. $25 million. Dollars. <laughs> and then I'm so I glad think... you said that at the start and then explained the whole movie and got to re-say that a second time. Yeah. And then I think $2 million went to like Larry the Cable Guy and uh, <laughs> Peggy Hill. Mm -hmm. And there then is, the rest was is, everybody else. There's like a five minute scene mm. where Medea and Larry the Cable Guy have a scene on the farm where after Medea milks a cow for some reason, not explained, just Medea's out there milking a cow. Yep. They have a conversation because apparently the son is just very bad at farming. He's good at like the brain stuff, bad at farming. Right. And they mock him for five minutes about how he tried to milk a bull. And it's just like ad lib jokes that aren't landing. But they're just like, yeah. keep it, keep, just keep going, just keep going. It's crazy. <laughs> the whole thing's crazy. I'm going to be honest, best Christmas movie I've seen in a while. <laughs> Love it. Every minute of it. Yeah, fantastic. Love um, it. Fantastic film. I, I, have a, I have a weird Christmas movie that we watched on a lark. <laughs> um, it's not as bonkers as it sounds like the Medea Christmas movie was. But um, it was a little movie called Angela's Christmas. And we watched it because uh, Sam and Clark and I were like, let's watch something short um, before like bedtime and all that. And we saw this movie on Netflix and we were like, let's watch it. It's apparently one of the, the top watched Christmas movies right now on like kids Netflix. So we mm. turn it on and it's, it's that kind of like slightly uncanny valley CGI animation. What is this called? Style. Angela's Christmas. Um, I'm looking it up. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Is it 2017? Probably. The CGI Ooh, doesn't oh, yeah. look... <laughs> yeah. It is. It is. Ooh, I don't yes. like this. So, There's something very little nightmares about this. I don't okay. like it. <laughs> yeah, kind of. The, the plot of this movie is that uh, we join a family in Ireland. It's like a single mom with four kids. And this uh, her oldest daughter is named Angela. And Angela's going to be the death of her. And they go to church because it's Christmas Eve and you have to go to church. So they go to church right. and Angela looks at the nativity and and says, it looks like the baby Jesus is cold. And it infects her mind to such an extent that as they're leaving, she's like, I need to light a candle for Christmas. And her mom's like, all right, just come home quick. Right. So. Angela stages a heist because there's still a bunch of old people in the church. She stages a heist into the nativity, steals the baby Jesus, the baby Whoa! Jesus, I know, puts it in her jacket. And she's like, it's just for a night, baby Jesus, just to get you warm. And she like sneaks out of the church, uh, gets all the way home, sneaks into bed. Her older brother sees her with the baby Jesus, goes inside and is like, Angela's upstairs with the baby Jesus. And everyone's like, shut the fuck up. But she was upstairs like cuddling this weird wooden baby Jesus. Um, finally, the mom gets convinced to go upstairs. She's horrified. Like, you stole the baby Jesus from the church, right? She <laughs> proceeds to sit all of the kids down. 
and tells them this really long story about how the night that Angela was born was, I guess, around Christmas or around New Year's. And uh, how their dad got arrested because he was trying to get a bit of coal to make them warm. But he tried to steal coal from someone. And so he was thrown in jail the very night that Angela was born. And so it was just... What? I know. And so it was just the mom and the newly born baby Angela (laughs) and her two brothers. And they cuddled in with mom and Angela to keep them warm. So she tells this whole story. and, 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 And Angela's like, I get it. I get what you mean by this story that baby Jesus needs to be back with his family. (laughs) So they reverse heist. They all get dressed and they're like, we're going back to the church and we're going to sneak the baby Jesus back into the nativity scene. They show up in the church. They go to put the baby Jesus down. And what happens? The vicar, the fucking priest pops up out of the darkness and is like, there you are, you thief. Calls a, calls a policeman in. A policeman comes in and also decides to create this huge metaphor where he's like, wouldn't it be sad? It's it's so good that they brought the baby Jesus back, you know, because wouldn't it be such a shame for a, for a, a baby child to be taken away from their family on Christmas? Question, do they all have amazing, amazing Irish accents? They do, and I'm not doing them justice at all. Um, so 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 what you're saying is like oh wouldn't it be sad <laughs> if someone were to take the baby Jesus? <laughs> not not quite so leprechaun. Oh, but Prince sure, Arnold. yeah. <laughs> and then they get Jesus. excommunicated from the church. Yeah, so the priest is straight up trying to get these children arrested, <laughs> and the policeman's trying to be like, um, they brought they brought the baby Jesus back to be with the baby Jesus's family because kids should be with their families on Christmas, don't you think, sir? Damn, and damn. The, and the vicar's holding holding the fake baby and look down, looks down at fake baby Jesus and goes, you're right, have a night, have a, have a pleasant Christmas Eve. And so they leave, the policeman leaves, they all go home, and then the end of the movie is he unwrapped, because they had baby Jesus wrapped up in a jacket, because the whole point was that the baby Jesus was cold. So right, they, sure. he unwraps the baby Jesus and then looks at it off camera and starts laughing. And we get like a nice scene of, you know, the family all together enjoying their Christmas Eve or whatever. Um, and the final shot is, is the baby Jesus in the nativity with a little Christmas sweater on. And that's the end that's of the wholesome movie. Oh. shit. I hate it. It's wholesome as shit, but I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Wait, but so the, but the dad's still in jail that took the coal. Apparently. Yeah, they were like, yeah, he was put in jail. And then the kids kept being like, I really miss dad. But because of the way that the story was told, it's unclear if he's literally still in jail for stealing a lump of coal. A whole, oh, no. like, four or five years later, however old Angela is. Or if the dad died, they do not make that clear. If this, first off, if this was There's a, a sequel, movie. someone said. If this was a Medea movie, that dad, we would have found out, never existed. And in fact, (laughs) the mom made up the story. We find that out in the last 10 minutes. (laughs) Yeah. Then she'd be like, You're that dad stole baby Jesus. He got (laughs) they killed him. Your father stole a real baby. That's why he's in jail. Yeah. Makes sense. It wasn't Cole. It was Cole. C O L E, the child. (laughs) <laughs> the child named the Cole. baby child Cole. <laughs> oh, the baby child Cole. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. They need Tyler Perry's Angela's Christmas. Yes, that would be that would be th- they could you know spend. It's gotta be million. like a strong uh, moral message at the end that only Medea can deliver to camera, turning directly to camera. Hallelujah! <laughs> like, yeah, do a whole thing. <laughs> Did you guys um do you, do you guys have like? people in your life that are really into hallmark christmas movies oh my yes yes and there we had to watch one here in the office one of my little office cherubs loves those movies so we decided to watch one and How uh was it? it was it was a it's, i think it was called a hollywood christmas mm-hmm. and it's a it's Imagine a movie put together by people who clearly work in Hollywood, but also don't know how Hollywood works. Okay. So it's all the tropes of what people think happens on movie sets. But like, there's, it makes, the way they, sh- so it's a movie, a Christmas movie being shot in the in the film, okay. right? And it's about the actress falling in love and about the director who's like, I don't need a man. Like, 
meeting a guy who's like one of the corporate guys and she kind of likes him, but right. he's about the job and it's, it's whatever. However, in this movie is a woman who I, I do not know her name or remember her name, but her voice, she sounds, she sounds like one of the Islanders in uh, that game where you build the island. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a terrible description. Uh-huh. Which, uh, which one? Here's the thing. Which here's one? The thing. There's a lot of them. There's, there's a lot of island building all right, games. All right. all right. Let me explain. Okay. I'm not crazy or stupid. In my brain, I want to say Event Horizon, but I know that Animal not Crossing? It. Animal Crossing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I know, you know Event what? Horizon's not it. Yeah, Practically but, but, the, same but game. the like tonality of Event Horizon told, told me exactly what game you meant. <laughs> so like, I didn't want to say I didn't want to say Event Horizon because you guys would be even more confused. So I just said the one with the island because I couldn't remember the name of it because Event Horizon came in my New Horizons is what Did it you is. know I have a large squirrel from Animal Crossing. Adorable. That is very cute. That's yeah. very cute. Yeah. Look at that. This um, this there's a girl in the movie. If you can find. If you can find the trailer for a Hollywood Christmas, I think that's what it's called. There's a girl who sounds just like them, but a normal human. She's like, like that's how she sounds. And okay. the entire movie, she's like, that's a Christmas miracle. And I love her. <laughs> I want her to be in more stuff. She is so cute. And like the like, I'm also here. Right. And the entire Yoshi. movie is truly terrible. It's not a good movie. It has all the tropes of like uh, when we first started making YouTube videos and we do like mock, we do like we're on we're live on set. It was that kind of thing where we literally had no clue how actual movies were made. Mm. I see, yeah. It's that Quiet on but the set, in an hour and a half five, movie. Click <laughs> that sort of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. And um it's just it's 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 a crazy film. Insane, but it is tropey as hell. And the reason why it's tolerable is because the girl who sounds like blah, 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 <laughs> she the entire movie is calling all the shots she's like oh my god this is the moment when this happens and this happens and i was like i hate this but i love her and so i shall tolerate it yeah oh yeah no but christmas movies trash trash don't like them well they do, the, they the, do the hallmark tend to movies the hallmark yeah ones. the yeah. hallmark movies are like super formulaic and it's always no i learned that the uh that one girl from mean girls is in like 20 percent of the hallmark movies which the, one? The one yes. that's like, yes. that's so fetch. Oh. Yes, or, Lacey Chabert, the, the or whatever her name yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, she's in like 20% of them. She's just like, I love doing Hallmark movies. And I was like, what the shit? That's also yeah, a Hollywood Christmas. Mind. That's also part of it. When they decide that they're making too much of a Christmas movie and they have to go off script, these, the changes ruin the timeline and all the relationships fall apart. So they have to go back to the original script. And th that's how they save Christmas. It's um, crazy. It's crazy. Hold on. I'm trying to. Uh oh. Double. There's you're a. Du you're double checking something on this I, podcast? I, I am. Uh, <laughs> because we've said the wrong words so many times already that I. I always I, say the I wrong did say, words. I did say Animal Crossing Event Horizon. I did, by I, the way. Yeah, I double triple Where's checked the fan in art my of brain. That? Like, what's, <laughs> what is the name of this person? Um, if you wanna, if you like uh, YouTube video essays, uh, Jenny Nicholson has a video where she breaks down the Christmas Prince movies um, and oh, explains yeah. why she believes that they're uh, taking place in a Christmas dystopia, and it's fun. I watched <laughs> her entire video. thing on uh, it was like her entire video series on that theme park, the like yes. fantasy theme park. That was crazy. Yes, it's so good, and they were so mad about it. <laughs> Yeah, it's was. really, really interesting. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Did you know what that the naked mole rat from Kim Possible is yep. named Rufus? Yes. Yes, everyone did. You did. You didn't know yeah. that. <laughs> I'm I'm oldest they, sin, and I knew that. They talk. How do you know Ron, Ron and Rufus, dude. Ron mentions him all the time and talks all to time. him all the time, and yeah. says his name. <laughs> I'm shocked you weren't like, did you guys know that that green and black lady was Shigo? She had a name. Well, I didn't expect Jesse to know that. Kim Possible came out when he was like in college. That's not true. Is it true? Maybe mm. that's true. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure 
Hold on, now I gotta look it up. Can possible come out? Yeah, let's double check this. I feel like I was in high school. It started 2002, ended 2007. Oh yeah, no, I was definitely in college by then. (laughs) 2002, I was 100 percent in college. Oh yeah, I was in high school. Okay, yeah. Damn, I was in seventh grade. (laughs) I'm the youngest. That's right, yeah. you are the youngest. Uh, that makes yeah. it even better that we were like, mm-hmm. we brought a real-life grandpa on the show today. <laughs> <laughs> to be what? fair, I am. I am truly uh, the uh, oldest uh, young. This See, like back in the day. That horizon? Back like 10 years ago, I was like an old person in like a, a much younger body. But now I'm like an old person in a slightly older body. So now I can like complain about my aches and pains. Mm. So I keep my neck. Ah, uh, it's the worst, right? You could be like, oh, I had the plantar fasciitis, right? That was, that was, that sucked, right? Yeah. You can start comparing to the older people now. Like, you got stories to tell. But back when you were a kid, you're just like, whatever, man. I just run around. I eat what I want, you know? Mm. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> man. I just can picture Crendor <laughs> running. In my mind, the kid who said, you suck, it was Crendor <laughs> <You> five years <laughs> ago. Yeah, and that man. child was me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. There's something, because uh, people are always like, oh, you're still young. It's like, but this is like the, this is the start, hmm. right? This is the, this is when you start truly feeling like what's going to happen. But you're like, oh man, if I do this too much, my hip just like <laughs> starts hurt. And then you're like, oh. This is this is what this is how it happens, right? That's why when I go to the gym, some of my favorite people are like the older people there. There's this one dude, I swear to God, he's like 70. That man is more buff than like anybody I know. And he has a clipboard. And every time he does an exercise, he's just like, check. And I was like, I don't know what he does for a living. But he was just like, Ugh. Ugh. Probably nothing. Then, no, one time I heard him talking to this other guy who was like a Bill Gates guy. And he sounded like Bill Gates because I had my music going. Normally I got my, I listened to my EDM. Uh, shout out to the Armin Van Buren trance music podcast. Because he's just like, hello, this is me, Armin Van Buren. And then I just, every week, that's where I get my music. And it's like, uh-huh. uh, fantastic stuff. So I was listening to that. <laughs> and then the I, I was, anyway. <laughs> I was doing my, you know, doing my stuff. And then I, they were talking, and then I was like, I like muted my my thing. So I was like, I got to hear what they're talking about. Because I I was always curious about this guy. And he was just like, yeah, I'll probably sell the practice. So I was like, oh, shit, he's like a doctor or something. Right? And then the other guy was just like, this Bill Gates guy, literally sound. He's like, yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm working in business. And, uh, you know, I wish I could sell the practice. But, uh, and the, the best part is they're just like, yeah. And then they, like, pick up, like, 30 pounds. It's like... <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, you know, it's uh, yeah, what it is. And then the other guy's like, yeah, you know, my kid, he's uh, he, he didn't want to take it over, but I, I get it. <laughs> Start going again. And I was just like, all right, that's all I got to hear. And then I started to, uh, I put my wub wubs back on. Sometimes you know I just like hear a glimpse, that? right? The best part about that conversation is the fact that I think every man knows this deep in their soul. And can relate. I don't think those two guys know each other outside the gym. I think they oh, see each other not. at the gym, acknowledge their existence, talk about something, and then leave and never speak to each other unless they see themselves at the gym again. Oh, yeah. Men are here. just like, I feel like men are just like that. Yeah. Oh, that's the guy from the bar. Like, do you know him? No, I just like see him there. Dude, yeah. There's and, another uh, that's guy. He's like, he's like, I want to say like in his late 50s, also like buffed as shit. And he's all he'll like go up to people like he knows everybody, and he's just like, yeah, you know, oh hey, you know, people like walk by, they're like, hey Rick, and he's just like, hey yeah. Anyway, and he like keeps talking to the other guy. He's just like, yeah, my golf swing, you know, it's uh, really working on it. Head on down to Arizona. He's like, oh, I have, uh, you can, I go to Arizona sometimes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about it is that I guarantee the dude's wife is like, so uh, what'd you do with it? Oh, hung out with my friends. She's like, you don't even know them. Yeah, I like it that way. <laughs> this is this is their their social th- like yeah, most of the time it. when that's people go to a place, they're just they go in there for like the socialization aspect. That's why people go to uh, just like even church. Half the people they're just like, it's I go to community. church most yeah. of the time. Yeah, it's the community. They're just like, I want to see what Rachel's wearing to church. <laughs> like, and then they're just like, did, and then they leave church. They're just like, did you see what she was wearing? <laughs> 
<laughs> I swear to God, my mom would do that shit growing up. Honestly, like, um, I uh, I recently went to a little, there's like a, a tiny little craft store in one of the villages that's a little ways away. And they had all of these like... <laughs> Um, I forget you live <laughs> in the 17th century. I live nowhere, yeah. We went down to the crafting store of the village. I we did. had to go to the cobbler to get our shoes adjusted. <laughs> baby Jesus was cold. Um, we baby bring Jesus blankets. was there. He was freezing. Um, there's, there's like a little clipboard in there that has a bunch of different sewing classes. And hmm. I got really excited about them, but like I'll totally admit... I, I was excited to take a sewing class potentially, but but more than anything, I was like, I think that would be really nice to just sit in a room with some probably really old people from this village and just sew for a couple of hours. I think that would be great, <laughs> you know? So yeah, sometimes, you know, it's like just well, wanting to be- they have like a spindle? Be... How would you do that? To sew? Yeah. You don't know what you. I use don't know what the sewing sew? practices were 300 years ago, so I'm curious. You definitely wouldn't use a spindle. That's what you use would to you, turn uh, wool would you like into yarn. Spin wool? Yeah. So I'm saying, well, how would you? That's yeah, not you gotta make, part you gotta of make sewing the yarn first. at all. That's you oh, don't okay. use yarn <laughs> to sew. <laughs> I like oh, well. just like Jesse's so dumb. Oh my <laughs> god, god. he's sewing. so stupid. <laughs> yeah, what a fool I am. This is like this is like when people ask me about sports. And people are just like, oh, you, do you see um, the thing with the, the football? And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> what about? <laughs> he says, listen, I, I don't know anything about sewing I either. Know. I know you got the needle. Yeah. Right? You got and the thread. sewing needle. But, but I, you got the thread. I'm, I'm assuming here that Jesse was trying to pluck out of his brain something that in like the medieval times they would use to craft yes. clothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I was. Yes, I was. So, I, mean, I was trying to make a joke about how think, you live in the past. Uh, right. You would think yes. Jesse, <laughs> Jesse should know being a historian, right? I, I'm going to let you know, my specialty is not in 17th century sewing practices. <laughs> I'm going to let you know, I do not, I don't have that knowledge. Oddly enough, sewing as, as it is, like just hand sewing is basically the same as I think it always has been. It's a needle. We need and to change that. We need to fix that. Thread. We need to fix it. Sewing is like the, the toilet. We should have updated it years ago, but for some reason we've just settled. Sure. In my administration, we will solve both these problems. Okay, go on. One, yeah. sewing. Yeah. How can we make it more robotic? Two, mm -hmm. the other topic I was talking about, toilets. That's the one. <laughs> toilets. <laughs> That's right, yep. Yes. Toilets. Yes. It's still a thing you poop in and flush. We can change this. It's the it's 2023. Oh, are we, are we in the future now? I thought we were talking about old timey toilets, which were holes. That's true. They were holes. I mean, they're still holes. Just they're still holes. What administration are you changing? In what time period? <laughs> Things are blurring together now. <laughs> another one. Another one of my platforms. Yep. Stop putting so much sauce on chicken wings. There is a right amount of sauce, and you keep overloading it, and you make just a, it's I have a, a rebuttal. puddle. I have a rebuttal. No, no rebuttals. This is correct. Yeah, rebuttal. I, I have, rebuttal. Th thank you very much. Thank you for the floor. Um, yeah. I believe that uh, everybody desires a different amount of sauce. Oh, so they're I would, wrong. No, that, uh, In uh, my regime, uh, the it, first it, it is still my turn. It is still my turn. Quiet. It is still Toilet my turn. Man. Quiet. Um, and so I maintain that uh, all chicken wings should come with a sizable amount of sauce on the side to dip into to one's preference. Thank you very much for the floor. Fair enough. In my regime, dissenting voices like that will be sent to Siberia and never heard from again. There's only one amount of sauce, <laughs> and it's the right amount of sauce. Okay. And anything extra is a waste of sauce. Excuse this me, sir. is the uh, regime. The I'm new wing order. Uh, newing order. I'm still curious about the toilet aspect. Uh, you called <laughs> the the sewing uh, robotic, I believe. How would the toilet also become robotic? I don't know. One of those like uh, robots that like uh, you know is like poop into my mouth and then it like goes yum 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 and then, and then it like takes care. I don't know robots, man. What am I? Some kind of Bill Gates? I don't know robots. <laughs> That's all Robots I needed to hear. Thank you. Out. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. Robots. Okay. That's the answer. 
I'm not worried. The people's vote will reflect who they want in charge here. <laughs> <laughs> the new yeah, wing like, order will like make this. sure the only the right people order. vote. <laughs> the new wing order. <laughs> Dude, no. I brought this up on Cox and Crandor. My thing that I would change is the LED headlights that I hate. Have you seen those LED? Do they have them in the, the countryside villages of England? Uh, the no, ones that are like so oil. bright blue that you want to <laughs> go like this when you're driving. Yeah. 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 Literally, there's so many cars. I feel like it's, it's more prevalent here because everyone here is driving like mega trucks where they're like, sure. I put the <laughs> super lights on. And the, but yeah, you're just lights. driving. I got my, I got my, I got my, my brights and then I got my yeah. super lights. And they literally are just insane. They're just like, they're like, how am I supposed to see the road without my super lights? It's like, if you can't see the road, if you need like a spotlight that's like trying to find an escaped prisoner, Get then glasses. you probably shouldn't be driving if that yeah. if it's that bad. It's it's a very selfish, uh, Crandor and I looked this up. Basically, those lights are much better for the driver. You can see more, it's more clear, right? But they're terrible for everyone who isn't the driver of that vehicle. Right. And so it's like mm -hmm. a very self-centered kind of like, I'm driving better than ever versus not everyone's blind. Yeah. I, I don't understand what the difference is then between them and like putting your brights on. It's it's actually worse than brights, it feels like. Yeah. Like plenty of them yeah. feel worse than brights. And then the other thing, people are just like, you just got to angle them down. You just got Nobody does that. Nobody's like, oh, my brights are hurting people's eyes. I should go to the mechanic and get them angled down or whatever shit. They don't do that. They're just like, deal with it, bitch. Can't see? <laughs> like, nobody cares. They, unless they make a up, law. Chat, because we know there's enough of you that are watching now and will be watching in the future. At least one of you has blue headlights. And you know who you are. So yeah, this is your wake-up call. Get them angled down. They're and looking then at you chat can come right now and be here. like, deal with it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, the, or, people, everybody's just or like, they're going, oh my God, I should angle my lights down. Do it so that next time, so. next time you can come back, give them the benefit of the doubt. Next time you can come back and be like, guess what, guys? <laughs> I angled my blue lights down and we'll be like, oh my God. I'll make I'll a big deal out of that conversation at all. It will not change oh until it's a law. Until you can get ticketed for it, nobody's gonna do it. If, if, if they could be like, "Oh, it takes like ten seconds, and you just have to like touch a button," they'd be like, "I'm not doing that. I don't got time." Until it's a law where you can get ticketed, nobody's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. People don't even want to like stop looking at their phone for a time. It's like you gotta stop looking at your phone for five seconds. You're like, I can't do that. They're, they're not gonna spend the time to like unscrew a light thing and then I angle like that it down little, or whatever. Your little hand was like right behind. <laughs> the microphone, so you're just like, me, 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 me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> main point being, I hate it. My regime would ban all the lights. <laughs> no, guys, Crendor, <laughs> the new wing order would like to make an alliance with the <laughs> Crenquisition and see if we can work something out there to yes. establish some sort of dominant control over the world and its problems. I yes, feel like agreed. that could only end well for people. Very much agreed. Dodger will be sent to Siberia. And she can have all the wing sauce she wants. In fact, that's all you'll be having. <laughs> that's all and under my regime. Oh, your day and night, all you'll have is wing sauce to eat. That's it. No, thank you. Wing sauce <laughs> soup, we'll call it. And we'll I'll have I'll have a guard serve it to you. Like, gotta Wait, eat which, your wing which, sauce. But there's so many different wing sauces. Which one? For you, yeah. mild. Oh. Sour, mild <laughs> wing sauce. What does mild cold, mean? Cold, mild, like, mild like, a, like a lemon pepper sauce? No, nope, like just a, like, like, a, like no, nope, the same red. Have, no, as, no. As hot, but no, mild. If your whole platform is <laughs> about goddamn wings mild. and whether or not they have enough sauce, you know enough sauces to be like, this is the mild, this is the specific mild oh, sauce. Oh, easy. Yeah, no. All the unused Buffalo Wild Wing mild sauce will be poured in a vat okay. for you specifically okay. and sent to your prison cell. Thank and you. I'll just have a guy feed you <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wing mild sauce. The worst of the worst. Just like, mm, eat up. Your Thank nose, you. you loves it. And on your birthday, we'll put potatoes in it. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. That is pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. It probably tastes good. Uh, if anything, I I'm tough, but fair. Mm.
Mm -hmm. If anything, the texture Sweet. difference will just be nice. This, you know? <laughs> this yeah, is why yeah, we yeah. formed our alliance. Yep, it's true. Yeah. That's, that's right. It's okay. I've already skewed the vote. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what? A, hey, 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 gang. Hey, what, hey let, let's, let's, let's talk. Let's talk video games. Let's talk to some games. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. It's that time of year. This is, this is a bit of setup. It's that time okay. of year mm -hmm. where we think back at what we've played and think forward to what's coming down the pipeline. And I wanted to get your feedback on 2023. A great year for gaming, bad year for game devs. What's what's What are some of the things this year that stood out to the two of you that you were like, man, what a great game. I can't believe that came out this year <clears throat> and I got to play it. Isn't that so cool? Hold on. What are some of your favorites? I haven't thought about this yet. So I'm gonna have to. Uh... All right, let me let me rattle off. So I, I wrote a list not mm -hmm. only of what's coming out next year, but also some games that came out this year. Let me give you. Let me just run down some stuff that happened. Sure. Um, this year we had, of course, Alan Wake two, mm -hmm. and Baldur's Gate three, mm -hmm. and Armor Core six, and Dead Space remaster, and the Resident Evil four remake, and Hi-Fi Rush, and Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and Sea of Stars came out. The uh, uh, whatever the hell that damn thing's called, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, forgot the name of it for, for a minute. <laughs> Pikmin 4, a brand new Mario, System Shock had a remake, <coughs> Final <laughs> Fantasy 16. We had a lot of games come out this year. What's your what's what's your vibe? What are you thinking? What what stood out to you? What were you like, damn? Also, yeah, Lies of P existed. Totally forgot Lies, about that one. Lies of P was gonna be one of the ones that I was really surprised by. Yeah. Um, this isn't fair because you did the coxies, so you're already yeah. like yeah. Brain but I don't know. I don't know. This. Have you uh, have you yeah. watched the coxies? Because I'm gonna let you know. There's not. It's not a real award show. There's nothing real about it. I said I the best it. use of pixels or polygons was Cammy's ass. Oh, Street Fighter Six came out this year too. I love that one. I love Street Fighter Six. Actually, that was a fun one. I played that for a bit, and I don't even like fighting games that much. <sighs> yeah, Street Fighter Six was great. But like, what do you? What's your vibe? What's your vibe on the year that we had? This just reminds me, TB used to send us a list of games. I wouldn't look at it. <laughs> yeah, so nothing's changed. Oh, New Mortal Kombat came out. That's correct. New Mortal Kombat. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's like... I will uh, say... When people explain board games, and you gotta, like... Nobody can pay attention. Everyone just has to play it. Like, nobody's paying... They're just like, all right. It's like, even, like, no matter what it is. Not even just TB and, like, co-optional lounge or whatever it was. But just any board game someone tries to explain. They're like, all right, so there's a switch. And when you hit this switch, you're going to get a color. But don't use the color yet. That's bad because you got to get the color later in the game. But mm -hmm. if you go like this and you clap twice, then you get to choose a new color. But if you clap four times, then you can't choose a new color until the next round starts. I just want to interrupt just here. Like, I just want to interrupt here and, and note that as Crendor says... You just need to play. Stop telling us how to play. The one time we played the Battlestar Galactica game, in order to prove he wasn't a Cylon, he threw himself in jail. Yeah, that's true. That's not I fair. Just wanna, I just want to point that out. Because I just want to point that out. <laughs> I knew how to play. I was just confused. Right. Is well, that what it was? I mean, like that's totally different. Yeah, <laughs> that is totally different. Yes. He threw there, himself in times. jail. There's plenty of times I know how to play a game and I still fail. <laughs> I do that in Warhammer. Dude, playing Warhammer, because I like play like a Warhammer game every week. Like I, I play tabletop Warhammer. And the amount of shit you have to remember in tabletop Warhammer is like too much. It's a lot. Mm, uh, much. And so I'll just like be playing and then you're like, wait, am I hitting on threes or fours? Am I minus one to hit right now from a thing? Or is there like a thing? And you have to like figure it all out and remember shit. No, like nobody remembers everything. But, like, there's plenty of times where I, like, I know the rules, but I still mess it up. And that's what okay. I did back then. Nice, nice diversion. <laughs> you, you gave Dodger time. What are your games this year, the two of you? <laughs> it doesn't have to be a game that came out this year either. It could be, like, you could be Wait, why doesn't it have to be a game that came out this year? That's the whole point. Um, I'm saying, if, but I'm trying, to, look, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you right now. <laughs> I mean, like Don't knock away my hand. I'm <laughs> reaching out to you. Uh, okay, so I, I did love Lies of P. I loved it more than I thought I was going to. Um, I thought that that game was was great if if you're looking for something that has like a Bloodborne vibe but has a lot of love and attention and detail put into it. I thought Lies of P was great. 
Um, American Arcadia, I was really surprised by. I played that game blind, and I thought that game was fantastic. Um, Small Saga, I've talked about on this podcast already, but Small Saga was so good. Such a great, succinct adventure story. All of the characters are rodents, but at the end, you care so much about all of them and their journey. It was just so good. What a great game. Um, if, if it doesn't have to be from this year, Signalis came out at the end of last year. Uh, and I was encouraged to play that game in October cause it's kind of spoopy. Mm. Um, that game was fantastic. I was thinking about that game for a while after I played it. Uh, I watched videos that were like, here are all of the endings and how they all connect. And like, like I, I really loved that game. I thought it was really good. And like the perfect level of, um, freaky if that makes sense. It, it was a very manageable level of like unsettling and uncomfortable, you know, with the sound design and everything. People keep telling us to play that and uh, it's on our list, but just it's haven't so good. played it yet. It's so good. And and not not that long, like 10 hours-ish. Okay. Do you, uh, is there anything that you <laughs> missed this year? That, so Signalis is a great example for me or, um, I haven't played Spider-Man 2 yet. I want to play Spider-Man 2. Live Alive is a game I downloaded. I haven't played it yet. And it's my the game I want to play the most out of anything. I know it's a remake from like a 1994 game, but still it came out this year and I don't give a damn and I want to play it so badly. Um, <gasps> yeah, I haven't, I have a lot of games I haven't played yet. And I'm just looking at them like, man. Um, I have, I have more games that I did play. Well, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, she's not done. You're I'm not done. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, Chance of Sonar was fantastic. That's that game where um, you have to uh, figure out the languages of of mm -hmm. different people as you play um, and create like a a book of of like keywords and language in order to like interact with people and progress in the game. That game was sure. awesome. Um, Shadow Gambit, I thought was so good. And I'm really upset that, um, that the development team has to shut down. Um, but Shadow Gambit, the cursed crew was such a good strategy game. So fun. Mm -hmm. I normally get really overwhelmed by games like that, but I thought it was just so well put together and so fun to play. Um, Stray Gods, Stray Gods came out this year. It did. Mm hmm. Um, that's, that's a, uh, the. RPG musical well, RPG. I don't know if I don't know if I would agree that it's an RPG next necessarily. I don't know. But musical. It's, it's like a role musical playing. It's like a musical date. visual novel, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. Um. I thought that was really good. I enjoyed that game a lot. Um. Mm -hmm. I kissed two different people in that game, and both endings Hell were good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Which cast members from Critical Role did you smooch in that? I have no idea. Uh, whoever played Pan. Mm -hmm. And whoever played... Um, who's your best friend in that game? I think that run Jessica was... Jesse Cox. It was Jesse Cox. Yep. Uh, nice. Those were the two people that I kissed in that game. And they were vastly different. Um, both were really good. Freddy is the name of your friend. There you go. Freddy. 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 Crendor, anything from you? What You are strangely silent. Let's see. Is it because you only I played Kaizo Dodger Iron Man and WoW? You literally like, told her to talk about all her games. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say all her games. I just, I want to start a topic. And you let Dodger just talk about like smooching and the, well, you know, like, Bramble. Bramble, Bramble was a, a freaky game that I liked. Bramble the Mountain King. Okay, now Crendor, go. <laughs> what did you play? All right. <laughs> So looking back at my library and st streamed games, mm -hmm. I did play Super Psycho Baseball. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, it's literally the game just gets progressively harder and like AI throws crazy pitches at you and you had to hit them. If you like any type of baseball thing, it's, it's wacky. Even if you don't like sports, it's like a fun thing. Uh, I played Yoku's Island Express, which I don't think is from this year, but... It's a great game, and Jesse said we can talk about those anyway, apparently. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yoku's Island Express is a mm -hmm. pinball game where you play as a bug that you pinball. <laughs> okay. It's actually a phenomenal game. 
It was one of my favorite things I played. <laughs> okay. If you haven't played, yeah, look at that. Everybody's like, Goku's fun, all right? <laughs> you're, really you act like you're surprised that I would play a, a game where you a play lot. as a None bug to be pinballed me. around. <laughs> uh, let's see, I played uh, Terra Nil, which I think we talked about a bit. Oh, last God. Month when I was here. I keep meaning to play that. That keeps getting suggested to me. It's good. Yeah. Good game. Terra Nil is fantastic. Look at that. I got six hours in there. I beat it. Uh, then <laughs> whenever I beat a game and somebody's just like, have you done it 100%? I'm like, God, no. I think I'm going to 100% any game. The only time I 100%ed 100 a game was like Banjo-Kazooie, and that's it. I was about to say Banjo-Kazooie, yeah. Banjo-Tooie. Yeah. Uh, not even Banjo-Tooie. There's too much shit in that game. There's too uh, much shit, dude. There's too much shit. <laughs> There's too uh, much shit. Oh. It, there was a tape to tape. That's a hockey game. Northern uh -huh. Lion played that a lot, and I saw him playing. I was like, "What the shit?" And I started. It's literally a, uh, it's like a roguelite hockey game. It's pretty fun. It's crazy. Uh, then we had, let's see, there was Warhammer Forty Thousand Bolt Gun. That was actually pretty fun too. I enjoyed that. I liked that it's game like, a lot. Uh, it's yeah. it's doomish. Yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing. With all these Warhammer games, all right? As somebody who also plays Warhammer in real life and builds it and paints it, why is everything Space Marines? I get that it sells, okay? Which is why it's everything Space Marines. But I just want to play as a Skaven. Like, every, like all these games, like Vermintide, you're killing Skaven. I want to be sure. a Skaven. I want to use my, like, warp shit where you're, like, running around. You're, like, <laughs> and you, like, blow yourself up or something, right? Or you just blow everybody else. You could, like... There's so maybe, much potential. Yeah, maybe they just need to get more creative. I don't, I, you're I, aware. I, oh, sorry. I was saying you're aware that last year a game came out called. I know it's ooh, the T for whatever. Blood right? shooters and T for you play as orcs. Yes, there's that, and then there's like you can play Total War, but like that's it. I want more. That's what I'm saying. There's so many different. There's like you're saying they're playing 40K. it a little safe. Everything is Space Marines. I hate it. I hate Space Marines. Question: there, if you, I hate wait, all the fantasy humans. All right, hold on, hold on. This is oh. your time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crendor, mm -hmm. you get to make a Skaven game. What does the Skaven game go? Mm. Well, it's Vermintide, but in reverse. So there's just like a lot of you. I don't understand. So it's like no, you can. It's what do you mean four, a lot sca of me? four Skaven versus <laughs> all humans. Is that what yeah, you're saying? You're the Skaven. Four little rat men. Like, yeah. You're well, the you last Skaven, dude. You'd have different Skaven class. Like, you'd be a plague priest, so you're just like, man, you got your little, like, thing, and you're, like, putting plague on people and shit. You could be, like, an assassin, like a, a, a what are the, what do you call them, Clan Eshin, going around, like, backstabbing people and shit. You got uh, a okay. Clan but Molder. You could be, like, a monster, like a storm vermin. You're just like, there's, like, they have so many cool things you can do instead of, like, I am an axe wielder. But isn't, like, the whole Skaven thing, like, like a pack thing like like there could no. be lots of them it's not mm. skaven are so i've read skaven lore as somebody who okay. has every I'm skaven model i don't mean to Whoa. i don't i don't no. mean to second guess you break. please i please have built every it. skaven model in the warhammer oh. line I, I all right i believe you yes please so skaven would actually be the strongest uh the strongest faction in all of warhammer if they work together but they can't work together because they're so paranoid that they think everyone is trying to backstab them. Okay. So they're just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and so they are constantly backstabbing each other and hate each other. So really, they are in a pack, but they they really are very individualistic. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So let me just ignore everything you said and pause it. What if instead Sim City, but Skaven? Where you build <laughs> underground Skaven homes. Anything. Even like <laughs> that's a, this is fantasy. Yeah, and even in 40k, what about Tyranids? What about Necrons? Let me play as Necrons, right? The Necrons are great. Can I ask? Can I ask another question? Mm -hmm. Um. So, so uh, we originally started talking about this because of Bolt Gun. Bolt Gun is a is is 40k, <laughs> right? Right. Mm -hmm. Um. Dark Tide came out. That's also 40k. If mm -hmm. so, uh, what what 40k race would you want? A game to be about. That's what I just said. Necrons. Necrons. Okay. Necrons or Tyranid. Well, listen, I play <laughs> the three armies I have in real life are Necron, Orc, and Tyranid. Okay. And everything else is just like some variation of human. There's like chaos space marines and chaos stuff, which is like, all right, 
I also have like the chaos arm. Like I have Nurgle. I have Zinch. Uh, I just had the coolest idea for a Necron game. Are you guys ready for this? Ready. Yeah. This is why I make the big bucks. All right, here we go. Brace yourselves. Ready. <laughs> it is a secular, 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 cyclic. Oh my god! <laughs> god what are you done? <laughs> cyclical, cyclic, cyclical, cyclic, clergy. <laughs> whatever the case may be, it's <laughs> game has a circle pattern. Yeah. Where it's all right. So cyclical. Thank you. The <laughs> yeah. A portion of the game is you as a Necron mm -hmm. build a massive kingdom, right? Okay. Mm. And what ends up happening, and you can like, you know, make all sorts of different units and like space this and that. It's crazy. But like the Necrons, um, a way like some shit's about to get out of control. So you go underground and the in the B cycle, when you're resting. For centuries, the outside world changes in a way that, like, there's new enemies or there's new factions that arise. So when you rise up again, it's whatever you did last time. Maybe completely destroyed if you sucked at it. Or maybe there's some ruins left still. And you have to keep rebuilding and building and building. And then it's like, all right, you've dominated everything. Let's go back underground. And then the next level is like you come back and all the stuff is destroyed again. And there's new factions because that's the whole point is the Necrons, like, they, they wait because they're so powerful, they're like, yeah, they rise up to the straight, the, defeat the, the shitty races, right? And so you could keep doing it, and you could get as far, you could keep going. It could keep going every time. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. It also sounds like it would be one of those games where they're just like, the, the everything gets randomly generated. So when you wake up, it's like all random. And That's what just, I'm saying, yeah. But after a few runs, you're just like, oh, it's like all the same kind of. Well, sure, because I'm not going like, to put that, that kind game? of money Starfield? in it. Starfield? It's like Starfield. Dude, Starfield actually is like pretty cool now. No, that wait, hold on. So no, that's the wrong okay. one. That's not Starfield. Say, What's the it? other one? No Man's What's Sky? the other one? No, Man's, no Sky. Man's Sky. Yeah, which, by the way, they have that like crazy fantasy game coming out. looks fun. It's like No Man's Sky Where they Sky make Earth? <laughs> yeah, They're I like that. They're making Earth, dude. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, be I, just, I just realized Starfield everything I think I know about Starfield is just No Man's Sky, <laughs> and that just shows me how little I know or care about Starfield. <laughs> everything in my mind that's like, oh, yeah, Starfield is actually just No Man's Sky. And I'm like, mm. oh, I just don't care about Starfield. Right? Right. Right. Yeah. It's, right. I'm already not a big space person, which is why I only have 340K armies and, like, 17 Sigmar armies. But... No man's or Star Starfield. <laughs> Starfield uh -huh. just seemed so soulless to me. And I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't like those types of games really. So I was like, I don't know. But it just seemed very, like, bland. The reason I knew I wouldn't like Starfield is I watched someone play and he went to a club. Like, you know, like a rockin' club. And the club looks like a two, like 2002 video game where people are like in the background doing a dance and they're like, I'm so high right now. The clubs in Mass Effect 2 were better than this game. Oh no. Like they, it, I just, I don't understand. And what's, what's crazy is that if you play, for example, Cyberpunk, I know people have made videos on this. I don't think it's a fair comparison considering Cyberpunk is like, they know what design philosophy they're going for. Mm. They compare it, and it is true. The, the vibe of a club in Starfield feels soulless. But it's like one of those things where I don't... Then why include it? If it's not good, cut it from the game. Like, I don't understand... It seems like Starfield kept a lot of things that just weren't good, and they should have just snipped. They're probably like, it expands the universe if we keep it in. It's just more content. <sighs> That's the problem. Is it's all content. Content instead of, like... Non-content. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Uh, eh. But yeah, give me I, I, give me Skaven Vermintide. That's the main point of this whole thing. <laughs> right? Look, uh, I got you. I'm yeah. Why don't yeah. we should we should don't they just give licenses to anyone? Can't we just get a Skaven license? <laughs> yeah. Where's just my make our own license? Game? I just want to yeah. cast plague on people. Or, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. run around as a storm vermin, like shooting stuff. I want to be the storm vermin. Yeah. Uh yeah. The I played Dave the Diver. That was great. Dave, Dave was the great. Dave the Diver's fun. Yeah, yeah, I love Dave the Diver. It was a good game. Have uh, you played the uh, the Dave the Diver Dredge crossover? There's a, yeah, somebody said there's a not. Dredge crossover with that game. I don't know if it's I out yet. I have no but idea what that looks is amazing. like. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, I played Baldur's Gate three, as you might know. Mm -hmm. uh, dude, you know playing YouTube Baldur's Gate short. three, but doesn't want you to know because she's doing it in private, and I get to see her all the time do it in private. Dodger. I am playing it. I see it Wait, pop uh, up on my feed. I'm like, ooh, I wonder what's happening in her little adventure. Not much yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that that TikTok YouTube short's got like 8 billion views on it of me just being like, yeah, I killed everyone. It's crazy. It's like still growing. And every, the worst part is when I read the comments because there's like so many normie people on it now. And they're just like, what is he talking about? He killed the guy. In the... I was like, shut up. All right. Crendor is like, that no kid. You They're just suck. like, you suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. They're just Crendor like, oscillates wildly kill? between being the old man and being the six year old kid. I do. Yeah. It's, A bunch it's, of normies. It's, you suck. You don't know. Yeah. They'll be like, why did he kill Bjorn the bear man or whatever this shit? I'm like, I don't know. I didn't know who he was. Like, the people forget, like, I'm going into this knowing nothing. So, like, I killed the druid man. All right, with the goblins, they're just like, the bear's escaping. And I'm just like, all right, fucking like, guys and shit. And then he's dead. And then they're just like, so take this item to the grand druid man. And I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> There's something so incredibly pure about your way of playing. Because <laughs> admittedly, if you were in a fantasy world, you would be the perfect hero because they'd be like, help us, a bear's attacking. And you're like, don't worry, I'll help you. And then you murder the bear and they're like, that was a druid. And you're like, uh oh. Like, well, I, also just play, you are. <laughs> I also just played it like a goblin because I, I pretty much play everything as a goblin because I pretty mm -hmm. much am one. So it's like, even when we went to the goblin town and all the goblins are gone, there's like one goblin who's staying in there and he's like, hey, I'll trade you something for your whatever. And so I do. And then I realized like, oh, shit, I needed that item. So then I just <laughs> killed him and took it back. <laughs> but people were like, there's a chance it might not drop. But it did. So I was like, nice. Got back. Right. Like that just... is gobble behavior. Yeah. I need that. Yeah, back, so I guess I'll kill the guy. Goblin. Yeah. 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 So that's all I'm saying is right. I'm just I'm just winging it. I don't know anything going into this. I, I didn't even play Baldur's Gate 1 or 2. I was just like, here we go. Baldur's Gate 3, jumping in. I just mm -hmm. played Divinity. It's good enough. Yeah. yeah. And even then, you can. there's that one of my top clips is like all of us playing and Sam, and then I literally walked through all the poison and died or something trying to resurrect somebody. I don't remember who it was. And then everyone's like, what are you doing? Um, I'm not good at the combat <laughs> in that game at all. Uh... That's really where I get stuck the most. So I've wound up just playing it on the easiest mode because I Great. don't I don't enjoy doing the combat very much. I just want to play the game <laughs> and do the story. So Yeah. I do that in plenty of games where I'm like, I don't <laughs> want to think. Yeah. <laughs> I, just want, I just want to feel strong and move on here. That's like why uh, why I like Dynasty Wars games. Dynasty Wars game requires zero thought. You just kill a thousand guys. That's so true. Shame the last one was was bad, but fingers crossed for Dynasty Warriors ten. Come on, you can make it good again. I forgot that you're a big Dynasty Warriors buff. I feel like Huge every time this Dynasty comes Warriors up, fan. so many memories just flood into my brain suddenly. Love those games and Samurai Warriors and Warriors Orochi, all the different ones. Uh, there's one that exists. I think it's like All Stars, where one of the characters is from another game that's a mobile game where you play as I think it's like. Oda Nobunaga. It's a cat. It's it's cat. It's cat Oda Nobunaga, and okay. he has an army of little cats that fight for him. And every attack is an army of cats. Amazing! And it's the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I love it, and I love that guy. And I don't know how I can play that mobile game, but I love him because he's just like a little cat emperor, and he's got little cat soldiers and cat guys with guns, and the cats attack you. It's great. Yeah. Mm. Those are good games. Those are solid games. It's like Monster Hunter where you got the cat friend. Yes, right? except you are the cat and the mm. cat friends. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, can I yeah, it's in all stars. It's so good. All right. All right. Enough of this year. This year was fine. This year was cool. Let's talk 2024. I have no idea what's coming out in 2024. This is all let me, you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you some things Hold coming on. out in 2024. Let me tell yes. you what should come out in 2024, but it's not. Yeah. Animal Crossing DLC. All right. Animal Crossing I... <laughs> Event Horizon. 
<laughs> I wish. Animal Crossing. It's always like, they're like, it's one of the top five selling games. It's doing great. And like, Nintendo, when's there more stuff coming out? And they're like, oh, it's done. And you're like, what? And you're like, yeah, we, we're not making any more stuff for it. And you're like, why not? Well, I give you money. And they're like, no. I, I don't understand. I don't I get also Nintendo. don't understand that. <laughs> Like, everyone's like, we will literally buy this from you if you just make it. And they're just like, mm, uh, we got people working on Squid Kid 4. And then, you know, by then we got Switch 2, which is going to be on the same system, really, but like slightly better. It, there was probably going to be a new Animal Crossing then, but it's like 2027. Right. Can you imagine the trailer? That's like, the, you know, the Nintendo one's like, this summer, right? And then it's like the red text and the white. It's like, this summer, return to Animal Crossing event horizon and then like a portal <laughs> opens and like a really messed up sam neil comes out and he's like i've been dead right and yeah. all the little animals like blah, 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 and they start running around <laughs> and like sacrificing each other and one skin explodes off like crazy <laughs> stuff that'd be great they could do a cult of the lamb style thing with that yeah yeah that could be fun yeah I'm not even asking. Yeah, but you for as a character, much. nothing's different. You still just farm, right? And dig and fish. Oh, yeah. You just have to deal with Sam Neil showing up sometimes. Yeah, Sam I'm not even... like, <laughs> yeah. Like when I say yeah. Animal Crossing DLC, I don't even want like that many crazy things. It's like more options, more like character dialogue, like just like standard DLC stuff, not like mm -hmm. an entire new expansion. But they're still just like, I oh, can't do that. And it's like, why not? <laughs> why? why? I don't. Know. I don't understand. Why? Oh yeah, speaking of Nintendo. Uh, yeah. I also want to bring up the 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 Breath of the Wild two two because I love Breath of the Wild one. It was one of my favorite games, uh -huh. and I was excited for Breath of the Wild two, and then I didn't really like it. Oh, why not? So that's where this take was going. Okay, all right. Yeah, and I, I remember don't... you defending Breath of the Wild to the death. Yes, you and I love Sam that game. were like, "This game slaps," and I was yeah. firmly in the camp of, "I don't get it. I don't really enjoy it." I remember this so vividly. <laughs> so. See, the reason I love Breath of the Wild is it's like I would just explore. You run around. There's like all different environments. It's like open world, but the world felt very like fun to explore. Unlike a lot of games where it's just like a bunch of just empty areas that are like meaningless to explore. And they're just there to increase the world size and make you feel like it's bigger. But this felt like everything mattered. And you're like, okay. But then Breath of the Wild 2, they're just like, you can build vehicles. You can like craft weapons and i think it was just too much for me yeah. i like the simplicity of the first one and so i also think it gave me banjo kazooie nuts and bolts ptsd because <laughs> i just, <laughs> i remember playing that game and i it it i don't want to build vehicles i just want to play banjo kazooie i just want to platform right. yeah and so i think they they bring that there's like that element into it i just i don't think i like building vehicles it's like and too stuff. much crafting yeah, it's like too much. Yeah. I just want to run around. Uh, like, I don't even mind if it was just a weapon system. There's too much. They're like, yeah, it is crafted. And some people love that. I get it. I'm just saying it's not for me. I, I'm the exact opposite in that I thought the first game was too open. And I, like, dropped off caring almost immediately because it was too open. And the second game made me feel like I was cheating, which I like. I That's love that I can create, like, a like a World War II bomber and drop explosives on moblins and feel like I cheated the game. <laughs> like that, I love that. What's I still the... didn't beat it because it's still too big. It's well, just yeah. too big of a game. But the time that I constructed like mechs that shot fire out their dicks, that was amazing. That was, that's good. That's good video gaming right there. <laughs> I think a lot of people that liked the first one didn't like the second. People like the second didn't like the first as much. That's what it felt like. You're going like. to get a message from people that are like, I liked both because I'm a real Zelda fan. Well, people and that's always you, send man. you shit. People are always going to send you their own messages. That they, no matter what it is, there's always one person that's just like, Krendor is so stupid that he doesn't understand Breath of the Wild's intense mechanical system they've implemented. Like, that's cool. I don't care. All right? <laughs> I <still> like <laughs> People do that shit all the time. <laughs> they do that in my pointless top tens. They're like, did you realize that you forgot this tree down in South Shore, whatever this shit, I'm like, no, I didn't forget it. It's just not on the list. You can make your own list. Put it on that list. There you go. You got to start being even more mean. Like, I specifically left it out. <laughs> I hate that I tree, hate, actually. I hate it. It's dumb. Thanks for bringing it up and ruining my day, asshole. 
<laughs> yeah. So anyway, I didn't really like Breath of the Wild too. <laughs> um, Tears of the Kingdom, right? I always want to call it Two yeah. Towers. <laughs> yeah, Breath the of the Wild, the, Two Towers. Yeah, Breath of the Wild, no, Two Towers. No, uh, Legend of Zelda, Two Towers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's coming play. out next year? I don't know. All right, uh, next I really, year. I really want Silk Song. <laughs> I really want Hades too. I think that's really all that I give a shit about next year. Silk Song may or may not come out next year. We'll find out. Hades 2 may or may not come out next year. We'll find out. Yeah. Same thing with the Elden Ring DLC. May or may not come out next year. We'll <laughs> find out. I don't Praise. know. Um, we do know some things that are happening. We're going to get Tekken 8. Uh, the reason why I care is because Coffee Girl, I don't know her name. I just know she's Coffee Girl, and I love Coffee Girl. Doctor, if you haven't seen that character, the Tekken 8 character, she's no. great. I love Coffee Girl. Big, is big her name Coffee Girl fan. Coffee Girl? Um, her whole persona is coffee. I Hold don't on. know what her name is, but her whole thing is coffee, and I love Tekken her. Tekken Coffee Girl. Okay. Is it Azucena? Is that her name? Or is it... Azukena. Azukena. I don't know. I can't I can't I chat dude. is spelling a thing and I can't pronounce it eight. Pronunciate? Shit, I can't talk either. I can't um, eat. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> she is just coffee girl. I told you she's just cop like coffee's her thing. She's, I love her. She's coffee girl. Um then in January we also get Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, which for the first time is set in Hawaii. Which I am absolutely here for. Uh, I am ready. I'm ready. Also, I guess we're no longer calling it Yakuza. It is like a dragon forever now. That's oh, it. Okay. Yep. Yakuza's out. Oh. Then Neat. in February, okay. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes out. That's my entire. Right. It comes out the 29th, which yeah, is blowing my mind because that. that's not even a real day, man. It comes out the 29th, and then that's when we're doing all March. So don't come at me. Don't talk to me. If you're trying to be in my life, I don't want to even hear from you. Mm. At least the first two weeks of March, don't don't come at me. I got stuff to do. Right. There's uh, It says Dragon's Dogma 2. I remember the first one. Dragon's Dogma 2, I'm hype as hell for. The problem I have is the when I played Dragon's Dogma 1, it was on an Xbox 360, and I can't remember if I liked it because... Of the intro It song? was good or because the song <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. I honestly I also don't, don't remember know. anything about that game except for the intro song. Yeah. So I know I made Bran of Tarth <laughs> as my companion and I love that. That was cool. But yep. more importantly, uh, the last time I played it was on a 360. So that shows you how long ago that was. <laughs> uh, it reminds me, I'm a little worried it's going to be like Vagrant Story, which is one of my favorite games ever made. Uh, it, I think it's either a, ps1 or early ps2 release but whatever the case may be vagrant story it, i used to love it it was one of my favorite squaresoft games big fan recently uh went back with the boys to play some of it just to show them what it was like that game unplayable by modern standards it is rough so i wonder if dragon's dogma the original is like that thankfully i don't have to care because it's dragon dragon's dogma too so like whatever but i yeah. hope i hope it's good I hope it's cool. Um, hey, hey, Princess Peach Showtime comes out. Okay. Uh, as far as I can tell, it looks like Mario's version of Final Fantasy X2, Final Fantasy X2. Uh, basically, Peach wears different dresses and gains different move sets from the dresses. Yeah. And yeah, and some it, dresses yeah. aren't even combat based. Sometimes they're like, it, she's a detective, and so she has to solve crimes and. Like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you know. Pikachu. I want it. I want it. I want this game so badly. It looks great. I need I'm all not the a outfits. big like. I need. Yeah, I'm not a big like. I gotta have my new Nintendo game. Like I don't care. Like a new Mario came out and it's like, all right, cool, enjoy. But this one, I'm in. I'm in for Peach changing dresses, getting mm. power ups. Yeah, that's dude. a win. Um, Earth Defense Force Six comes oh out my next God. year. Uh huh. EDF six. EDF six. I feel like that is uh we need to have a we need to play that we one. We definitely need to put a crew together for that. Yeah. EDF six. EDF. EDF. <laughs> I wanna I wanna play as one of those like flying women who when they get killed they go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
out of context. <laughs> that is no context needed, dude. <laughs> Literally, when they get, they're like these angels, and when they get shot down, they go, ah, ah. yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That sounds Valkyries, like a game yes. where you have to open card packs, get five stars of them. Um, it's not. In fact, it's, it's one of the not. best games. There's, have I you never played any an EDF gotcha game? elements at all for an EDF? Oh. Yeah. How I've has Crendor it, no. not gotten roped into it? It is EDF the most game? Crendor game I've ever. Like, it is so very Crendor. You're the huh. Earth Defense yeah, Force, dude. Defending yeah, dude. the Earth <laughs> from bugs. You fight giant spiders and stuff. <laughs> from yeah. Giant bugs. I feel it. Huh? Maybe I haven't heard it. I don't think I've played it, but I've e heard of it. EDF. It's great. E it's e great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't um, played it. Also, Little Nightmares 3 comes out. Very excited for that I'm one. I'm so excited. I love the Little Nightmares games. They're, They're really so good. well yeah. put together. Yep. Um, the game that you and I thought up on Co-Optional Podcast 10 years ago. A long time ago, Pacific yeah. Drive is finally coming out. I'm so, so excited. So I take full credit for that one, even though we'll never get it. I'm pretty yeah. sure Hellblade. I also was part of that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I remember being a driving force in the driving Pacific I just, game. I just want to let you know, you going, I also was part of that. <laughs> is like, awesome, I'm almost, Excuse I need me. to go back and rewatch because I'm pretty sure. Excuse in me. fact, I think it might have been my idea. Excuse me. Not I also was history. a part of that. I helped create the game Passenger. I made so it. So I'm up. saying I want like 30% of all profits when it's created. No one's so getting any, not, no one on this podcast is getting a dime, dude. <laughs> yeah, I hate to tell you, dude, we're not making a cent off of that one. <laughs> all right. But if you do make a cent, I want one third of that cent. I will, okay, got I will it. cut, I'll cut it in three. Yeah, cut it in thirds. <laughs> I'll give you the middle piece with Lincoln on it. That's how much I care. Yeah, I'll frame that. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. That's yep. all I'm saying. Pretty sure it's illegal to do that, but we'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> Hellblade 2 down. comes out. Mm. Uh, that's gonna be amazing. The first one was incredible, so very excited for that. Uh, Vampire Bloodlines two potentially could be next year, and Visions of Mana. I'm excited for a new Mana game. Yes, I love Mana games, so that's gonna be cool. Um, I I don't know how to describe this game, but Lost Records, the Don't Nod, Strange Like, can we call it that? Mm -hmm. If 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 your game has like moody teens that are gonna smooch. But a supernatural and element. A it supernatural is a strange element. light. Yeah, exactly. A strange, strange light. light. Yeah. That makes sense. It's a for strange sure. light. Yeah. And um, then also metaphor. I think that's what it's called, which is the Atlas persona like. It uh -huh. looks like persona, acts like persona, is not, persona. not persona. It's a persona like. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's another one. So we just need to start coming up with like, that's a strange like, that's a persona like, right? We can mm -hmm. do that. Uh, I, I don't know what a Final Fantasy like would be, but it's got to be shorter. It's got to be like, uh, oh yeah, that's a that's a Chocobo like. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a Moogle like. Mm. Yeah, uh, I don't know, but there's there's got to be different ones that we can just we'll make categories. We'll we'll like uh, it. internet meme it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll do the whole thing. We'll workshop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some um, games I wish listed that are coming soon. Yeah, go like, on. Like what? I am a caterpillar. I okay. wish listed that one. Hold on, time out. I gotta look up. I am a caterpillar. Dude, it looks fantastic. You're a caterpillar. And that's pretty much it. You live life as a caterpillar. Crawl up trees, leap between out. lily pads, wriggle through the undergrowth as you journey toward your <laughs> destiny as a caterpillar. Yes. I am so ready. This is a this uh, is a Crendor like, yeah. Yeah, this is very this is one hundred percent a Kren like. Yeah. This is yeah. a very Kren -like? big Kren like. Yeah, There's, this uh... game, this game is so silly. It is literally just a caterpillar wiggling on shit, and it's the most <laughs> Krendor game I've ever seen. Uh -huh. I can hear you reacting to it in my head, like, "Oh, dude, I'm wiggling on this guy. Damn, dude, that's a Mamma Mia." Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> there's nothing Mamma Mia. <laughs> More than being a caterpillar. Um, <laughs> stars in the trash. It's like what game are these games? Cat. It's a game where you're a cat. Okay. I think it's like a point and click, possibly. Uh, yeah. Stars in the trash. I'm looking at it. Right I mean, it is. It is a game where you are a cat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. 
See, those are the two that haven't come out yet on my wish list. Uh, it's always those things like in the game shows where they're like, go put it on your wish list. I'm like, I'll play that. So I add it. Uh, nice. Yeah, you know? I'm excited for Rise of the Golden Idol when that comes out. Um, uh, there are a couple of games that I played uh, during like the next fests. Um, but I don't know exactly when they're coming out. Games like Layla and While We Wait Here. Um, there's a visual novel that's coming out called I Just Want to Be Single, which is the reverse of a dating sim where everybody's trying to date you and you're desperately trying to just keep them as friends. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think those games are coming out in the next year, I would assume. But Oh, I hope there's a new Mario sports game. And it better be either baseball mm -hmm. or, or basketball. <laughs> okay. I would love Yo, Mario, Mario basketball. basketball? That would I be like sick. That. You're just Donkey Kong. You're just like dunking on people. He's like hanging on the rim. That would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> be all amazing. of them have like a special yeah. way that they like dunk. That would be great. Yeah. yeah. Or like their three point specialists. You got like Waluigi, like, wah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like launching threes. So there's like, there used to be Looney Tunes basketball for the Super Nintendo. And I love that. I want it to be like that, but Mario and modern. <laughs> there's a game that I can't. <laughs> I I want to call I want to say it's Manor Lords. It looks like the most Jesse game I've ever seen. I think that's what it's called. Manor Where it's Lords? literally like, yeah, it's like a uh, medieval building sim, where you like build a city. Oh, Manor. Uh, like, oh, Manor. See. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, Ma Man Man or Lords? No, not that. Manor Lords. Manor. Yeah, Lords. I like that kind of stuff. Mm. I'm a big fan of just like building cities, but like yeah. you know. In olden times. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that looks really yeah. boring to me. So I'll live That's what I'm you. saying. I love it. Yeah. I have so much fun just being like, oh, I got to make my city line up correctly. What am I going to do here? Yeah, I'm here for that. Mm. Dude, that's like all those like Sim City games. Like, even, like Zoo Tycoon. Oh, mm. man, I love, love Zoo Tycoon. That Big was great. Fan. And then an animal escape. You have to like get in the chopper. And you're like, you're like, where is it? And you like do the dart, and he has like, Bleh! and they get people in the town are running around like, oh. ah. yep. Mm -hmm. I uh, still play Jurassic World Evolution <laughs> Two, uh, on the like no challenge mode where it just gives you everything and you can build. Just I'll be like rendering a video and I'll just be sitting there like, all right, so I'm gonna make this pen this big, and I have to figure out a way to have people travel through it. There's no challenge. You have unlimited money. You can do whatever. I'm like, right, right. But in this one, I got to put in like these four <laughs> dinosaurs because I know they're good friends. And like the people will like it a lot. But I got zero challenge. There's no like there's nothing. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to have electricity on in the game. It is like just build, have fun. I'll play that version of it because I'm just like, I want to build my perfect park. That is some that's the kind of control and appreciation for the process you can expect under the new wing order. Mm hmm. When wings are tossed correctly and none goes to waste. Absolutely. Yeah. Who this will, will you vote for? And what will you be watching? Will it be Medea's Christmas or will it be Angela's Christmas? Please report back Here's the to thing. us. In, next in the time new wing order. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Vo voting won't be necessary. Don't Which, worry. by the way, did any of you watch Family Feud? I've watched like a thousand episodes of Family Feud, dude. Yeah. yeah. What do you, you mean? Did any of us watch I Family recommended Feud? It. No, I never do my homework. So you still haven't watched anything anyone's recommended? No. <laughs> you said that with such pride. No. <laughs> I but I, I do intend to come back after this little break and return victorious, having done all of my homework. So we'll see how that goes. She's doing I it all. I do not believe you. I do. I most <laughs> assuredly don't believe you. You saying I'm going to go take a break and come back and I'll have That is, you've never lied more in your life. You looked at the camera and lied to everyone. There's no way you're going to do everything that you said you were going to do. It's not going to happen. Why not? So you haven't done it Why yet. not? Why not? Because I know you. Why you're not? You're going to find 18 other things to do that are going to be like, today I went and... I played with geese. I do like our geese. <laughs> One of them might See? be a gander. So we might have we might have fertilized eggs in spring. We don't know. But he but he's doing a lot of gander behavior. 
So, so potentially. What is gander behavior? Um, yeah, what is gander behavior? They're more aggressive, and they they'll like physically put themselves between you and the goose. Um, they turn on their brights. They turn on their brights. They, yeah. they peck children. So he's mm -hmm. been pecking children a lot, of which there are many in this family, um, especially around Christmas time. So uh, he might be. He might be. The local farmer says that's gander behavior. So we're just going to have to find out in spring uh, if we have baby geese popping out of these eggs. So I liked it in a way you did some sort of like alpha male podcast, but for ganders. Like, this is solid gander behavior, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, let me tell yeah. you another thing about geese, okay? <laughs> I do want to know another thing about geese. Um, hmm. They know how to sew? They I don't, don't think they do. No. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what to tell you. They honk Don't you know now. about geese? Are, yeah, I thought you know about them, geese. Both of them honk now. How loud is the honk? Is it like a it's low, really noticeable fucking, honk? They basically scream at you, and they can fly now. So um, are they gonna if, leave and just like fly away one day? I don't think so, but they get really antsy when they see wild geese. Oh, like nature's call. They're like, yeah. is that us? They Should we go? Ge they see geese flying ahead, and they're like, you know. <laughs> Uh, so it's like a Hallmark. Oh, oh my Ooh, God! That could be like a new uh, Christmas Hallmark, That's the Hallmark cartoon, movie. Angela's Christmas, and it's the geese right. that want to fly. Yeah, they right. want to head they south, wanna... but they know where they belong. I so when I was at the zoo, this reminds do me. Do it of that. fast, dude. We got to wrap up. When you were at the oh zoo, my God. When I was at the zoo, <laughs> there I was. You know, again, we got funneled back to the monkeys, and there was a monkey <laughs> in one of his habitats, and he, he was literally on the boat. top of a. He was on the top <laughs> of a cliff, like the highest point. <laughs> Yeah. The highest point, <laughs> mm -hmm. staring over the edge, a branch or like some part of a tree that was on the walkway was like hanging over into his habitat. And he was sitting there staring at it. I watched him for I 10 minutes. I can and make it. I can make it, time, dude. He kept like looking around and like checking to see if anyone was watching him and he'd go back to looking at it. And he's clearly doing the math in his head. Like, can I make this jump? And yeah. I sat there for 10 minutes waiting for something to happen. And he just like kept looking and then he'd sit there and he'd stare at it. And then he'd like get ready to go again. And he was like, mm. and it's the exact, I think he was just like, I couldn't make a break for it, but it's so scary out there in the world. That's like what cats I Think of do. how many monkeys are there. Oh yeah. yeah. I felt bad for him. They always line up the jump. They're just like, can I make this? And they're just like, yeah, it's a 50-50 whether they biff it or not. Yeah. It's very fun to Oh, watch. that guy would have fallen to his death if he jumped. There's no, no way he's going to make it. No, don't say that! It was, he was on the highest point in the habitat, <laughs> and the branch was like here. If he would have jumped, we would have seen that monkey fall to his death. He's smart not to have jumped. That guy, oh, poor that baby. guy would have died. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, guys, thank you all very much for watching Geek Enders. Um, we're going to be taking a week off here. Uh, we'll be back the week after because I'll be out of town. So, you know, catch up on some what extra sleep. What day is sleep. that? Uh, what, what day is our next episode? Yeah, what day is that? Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> um, it will be uh, Friday the 12th will be our next Perfect. episode. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And who's going to be on that episode? Well, you'll find out closer to the time. Who <clears throat> knows? Not me. I, got another, I need another month of recharge from waking up. <laughs> Early. I know. Shout out to both of you guys for getting up so early for this show. It's all right. So it's all about, you know, all I ask is that you go to Krenslot.com, check out my new sweatpants that are yep. in pre-order, and mm -hmm. uh, watch Pointless Top 10. That's all I want. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Plus, I'm in a Kaizo Ironmon run right now where I'm going to the Elite Four. This could be it. Oh, my God. 5, I believe 000, in you. Let's 5, go. 5,070 runs, and this might be it. It probably won't. I'll probably die, but it could be. I believe in you, dude. Thank you. Um, hey, have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of, uh, next week. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're looking for this later, remember the VOD is always on YouTube.com slash Jesse Cox, and that's where you can watch all of the previous Geek Enders True. and test your Geek Enders. And so, all of our little fun clips and things. Yeah. It'll be great. And we're working wow. on adding it to, to podcast stuff. It will. We happen. already have a thing set up. We just need to, like... Make it happen. So chill out. Leave me alone. Just chill out. Yeah. I'm just mad. I'm, I'm all by myself I'm just for two an weeks. Man. I got, 
Yeah, just what is this? Add- the YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor podcast? All one word? <laughs> if you spell it into the URL bar? Uh, Come on. Cox and Crendor, also a very good podcast that you could listen to while we're on the It's break. not. Mm, no, not really. I like it. But you it. could listen to it. Yeah. You could. Yeah, I mean, you could li- I mean, it is a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it All is right. a podcast. Bye, everybody. Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. guys. Bye, guys. Yeah, yeah, you know what time it is. It's time for the Geek in this podcast. Mega Ran, Jesse, and Dodger. What up? Let's go. Yo, it's the weekend. Yeah, it's time to geek out. Let it begin. Go on, stream and shout. It's Jesse and Dodger, so give them a follow and see what the geekenders are all about. Yo, it's the weekend. Yeah, it's time to geek out. Let it begin. Go on, stream and shout. It's Jesse and Dodger, so give them a follow. Number one geek podcast, without a doubt. Yo, another end of another long week. Got a job and a kid, I know that you all beat. So, take a second, grab a drink and vibe while we catch you up in just a matter of time on gaming comics whatever you're doing if you're nerdy like us then you know you should tune in thank you for sharing our world with us now follow subscribe and turn this up yo it's Come the on. weekend yeah it's time to geek out let it begin go on stream and shout it's jesse and dodger so give them a follow number one geek podcast